What's up guys, welcome back to a new episode of The Coach's Corner. Um, we have one question in today and I think uh, I kept it as one because I thought it was a pretty special type of question um, and I reckon it could probably take um, you know, the amount of time for all our questions that we normally do. So, um, Steve's away today, Luke's back, Link is back. I'm back, <laughs> I'm back guys, I hope you didn't miss me too much. <laughs> Are you going away anytime soon? No. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be an asterisk. I'm going away. I'll be away. <laughs> but I'll be away. I'll be away in two weeks. I'll be the host. <laughs> hey guys, I should, I should go here. <laughs> I got Emily this week. Yeah? Yeah, on Sunday. Oh. Yeah, I got two vouchers for my birthday last year. So. Oh. Yeah. Lucky it's not Monday at 8 o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> when the FAO is aired. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, okay, so the question was, um, how did you get to where you are today and what made you get into the fitness industry? Who goes first? Who goes first? Luke, go first. All right, I'm up. How did I get to where I am? Um, well, I pretty much played sport my whole life, so I think like that was pretty much my background like coming into this industry. So. Like I never knew what I wanted to do and I was like, well, I like health, fitness stuff, I was pretty active, so I don't know, per, like, training people seemed like a good idea. Um, so in high school I did a, I think I did a Cert 3 in fitness, it was like, pretty lousy to be honest, um, didn't really learn that much, but I, was, I, was still, like, I still enjoyed it, learned a little bit anyway. Um, and then once I left school, like, I just... I was, I was tossing up thinking what I wanted to do, like the, my, my thing was I just wanted to help people, like that was, that was my biggest thing and then I was like okay how can I do that. Um, so I think I applied for um, a Bachelor of Policing, I did um, Health, uh, Sport and Exercise Science and then I did Paramedicine, I uh, applied for Paramedicine, I got it accepted to all of them but I went to Sport and Exercise Science which I'm happy I oh, did I do that. You got accepted into all of them? Yeah I got accepted into all of them. So. Um, yeah, so then pretty much straight out of school, I went into um, sport and exercise science through uni. Um, and yeah, I, like, I really enjoyed that. Um, I wasn't working in the industry at this point. Um, and then, yeah, that, like that's how it's kind of started. And then as I got to, I think my third year, um, my plan was to just finish uni for one year. Uh, finish uni for one year, just travel. And then, um, go do my masters and then I stumbled across and actually I didn't stumble across I was just looking for jobs and, and stuff and I was like I know what's going like I've got, I'm finishing my degree I wonder what I could get into and then um, I saw squat club and I was like oh shit like that's pretty cool like it looked like a cool gym something like I would go for so I was like you know what I'm just gonna apply anyway like funny story I should totally told everyone <laughs> <laughs> I did this like he said in the, in the description I was like okay you can either um, send your resume in or do a video interview like me doing the interview took me like four hours and in the video like I was so nervous and like Prior to Luke being on part of Spot Club, he could not do anything with social media. Nah. No I, photos, no, no photos, videos. Nah. Like if uh, this was like my first day at Scott Club, I'm feeling nervous as talking now. But uh, <laughs> anyway, it was like, I think the deadline was Friday night and I sat the video in like Friday night. I was a little bit late because my phone kept stuffing up. Anyway, I got the interview. Ash loved me. <laughs> um, here I am now. Um, but yeah, so I got the job at Squat Club, and um, yeah, I guess like the rest is history. Like um, that's how much like that's how I got into it. Um, I also did a um, when I was at uni, I did like a boot camp and stuff. That's where I just first started helping people. Just ran my own little boot um, boot camp with one of my mates. Um, that was good as well, just to kind of get a taste of what it was all about. Um, good experience to start. Um, even now, like. To see the real benefit, like just when pe like, clients message you and say, like, "Oh my God, this has helped me so much," or "I feel so much better," and "Or oh, you've changed my life," like mm. that's the reason you do it, and I think that's the reason I do it. Um, and I want to kind of continue doing it. Like I'm doing my masters now, and in exercise physiology, it's a bit different stuff, but it's still the same principle. Like I just want to help people. Um, I just like I'm pretty passionate about exercise. Like I just think movement and just everything is so important. I think. Every person has that right to like move properly, injury free, and just have a healthy life. Like this, that's what I'm kind of really interested in. Um, yeah, whatever I do in the future, it's just going to be the same principles, and like, yeah, I just enjoy doing it, and 
hopefully I go for a while. And that's it. That's my story. It's, it's not like it's probably not as big as yours. Like I'm, I guess no. I, remember I tell people I'm only like 23. Like these guys are like 28, 29. Um, it's the beard. Yeah. It's too, like, people think I'm a little bit older. It's like, the wrinkles. Like with these guys. So I'm still. Um, like I'm, I'm only really like these guys. Like these guys. Well, you guys are older than me. <laughs> Well, you guys are a little, like, you have like six years, like, young. I've only been doing it for like, <laughs> <I know. laughs> I'm not saying you're old, but yeah, I've only been doing it for like, since Scott got away for like a year and a half in that little boot camp, and yeah, so it's still early days, and like, there's still, I think what I love most about this industry and everything, there's still so much to learn, like, every day I'm just continually learning, like, you guys have probably been longer, and you probably learn new stuff every day, it's crazy, and that's, I think that's what drives me the most, like, I just want to learn as much as I can to then obviously help people. That's the best way I can put it. Um, but yeah, that's my story. It's a good story. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> how did you get started? Uh, well, I was in high school and it actually says it in my U10 like, book to be a, person, a successful person. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and so then, yeah. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, I don't know, I just always wanted to help people and I've always loved sport and so, um, and I think health is really important for everyone's life and I think it improves their quality of life so um, I think educating people and teaching people how to be healthier and to move better and to have exercise in their life is really important so, and I always believe that it carries over into other areas of life too, so you know, giving you the confidence, um, so yeah, I just always loved it and yeah, I just have continued with it so I've done a few things. Like, what have you done? What I've heard like a little bit of what you've done, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, so I was working, so I've been in the area, like, I've been doing it, what, 10 years now? Yeah. Um, I was at YMCA for a while, and then I went out on my own, so I had my own studio, so I was doing that. And then I went to work for Plus Fitness as their fitness coordinator, so, um, so I was like, oh, I just want to try something else as well, because um, it's pretty full on, like working for yourself and, mm. and a lot of hours and... I was like, I think I'm getting burnt out. So I went and did that, and then I was like, no, I actually love coaching. I still had a few clients that I was doing while I was doing that as well, and running outdoor classes. And then um, I was like, no, I want to go back to coaching. And then and then Ash approached me, and then now I'm here, which has been really good. Cool, so. Snagger. Yeah. <laughs> Snagger. Yeah. I kept my eye on you. <laughs> She's good. Yeah. She's good. <laughs> and, um, I think, yeah, definitely the industry always challenges you to learn and I feel like I've gone through phases as well yeah. with my coaching and, you know, what I've done and um, I love what I'm doing now and like, working with these guys and like what you guys promote here and what you do. So, yeah, it's been good. That's me and now I'm back at uni to the next step. So yeah. what's the next so, step? Well, I'm hoping to get to physio. So but I'm doing podiatry. But I actually love doing podiatry. <laughs> I don't know. Give me a full massage. No, no, no. I don't know if it's the study side of it that it challenges you because I yeah. think it, it pushes you to think other ways and like I'm learning yeah. from it. Yeah, Critical exactly. Thinking, that's what it is, and yeah. I got, you know, I studied exercise science for a long time, so I graduated five years and I'm like, oh gosh, there's so much stuff that I've forgotten as well. So I don't know if it's just the learning, like going back to it, but. I don't want to play feet. <laughs> but I don't know, we'll see what happens at the end of the year, so hopefully I get in. <laughs> I don't know about you though, but like even with um, like being at uni while working, I think that the apply, like I, 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 when I did uni for three years, like I was studying, I did well, like good marks and stuff, but like it's different when you actually apply it, and I think that I'm studying and working, it's like yeah. you actually remember it a lot more. Definitely. That's what I like about it as well, you probably feel exactly the same, but yeah. yeah. And even though it's podiatry, like it does still relate, like I've yeah. seen how it does, I've been able to carry it into it and be like, oh yeah, it's cool, like so yeah. it just makes you think about things differently. Yeah, so, yeah. it's good. Yeah, yeah so we'll see. <laughs> nice. Do you want me or do you want me to go? Wrong <laughs> <laughs> Whoever loses goes first. Okay, okay. on three. Okay. One, One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <God. laughs> Alright, so um, I think my story is completely different from these guys. Um, but I've always played sports pretty much all my life, but I started um, traveling when I was 22, and then that's when I stopped doing everything. I didn't have time, didn't have um, where to do it, um, and yeah, in four years, I think, 
three years when I was traveling, I put on so much weight. Um, and then I met Ash, <laughs> which was already here in Australia. Um, I was working in a coffee shop and Ash was personal trainer in uh, fitness first. And I was like, look guys, I really need help. <laughs> I was like, I'm going home, first time in four years, and I want to look good. Um, and yeah, Ash was like, well, let's start. Um, and yeah, I started, and it, probably in three months, I just completely fell in love with fitness and everything about it. I saw how much Ash changed my life, and I just wanted to do the same. Um, I was like, like, I felt completely different. Before I met Ash, I would never wear a dress, for example. Um, and I was like, I just want everyone else to feel the same way. Where Confidence. Confident, yeah. yeah. And I think that was the biggest thing for me, why I wanted to start. And one day Ash came to me and he's like, well, I'm thinking about opening a gym. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, well, what do you think about um, starting um, in fitness industry? Go and uh, study set three, set four, so you can work for me. And that's how it all started. Um, so I did my set um, three and four. I started um, as a floor, floor instructor. So my first um, interaction with clients was in groups. I, I still remember how nervous I was. <laughs> I don't know if you were so nervous as well yeah. when you first started, but like I remember that day, I, like the night before, I couldn't sleep. I was like, "What I'm going to do? What I'm going <laughs> to?" I, I was so nervous. But the first group was so good and ever since I just love coaching. There is nothing better than that. And as Luke said, every time um, any of my clients message me how much they love it and that they thank me for how much I've changed their life, it's just... Even just their day, like mm. they can come in there with a the shittest mood and you can just change their day. That's good yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. So it is definitely the best thing that happened to me. And meeting me? Ash. <laughs> <laughs> I'm meeting you as well. <laughs> no, this is definitely the best place to be as well. Um, I can't imagine to start anywhere else than here. It mm. probably wouldn't be the same. Mm. What do you think? Yeah, the place to <laughs> work. Or <laughs> well, it's fun. No, I mean, it, for both of us, it's, yeah. it was the first real yeah. experience. Yeah, working with the gym, yeah. But yeah, I absolutely love it. And yeah, I think Ash. <laughs> <laughs> you said you weren't going to cry, Lincoln. Like, uh, <laughs> no, I said, Ash, are you going to cry? <laughs> I, uh, I um, <clears throat> so basically, uh, I started, well, my, my, my journey started probably when I was 18 years old, and um, I was in an office. And I didn't like what I was doing. Um, I, I actually, I hated it. And because I hated being where I was, I wasn't good at my job at all just because I just I purely just didn't enjoy it and uh, but my one escape was um, going to the gym every single lunchtime and just putting my headphones on and escaping from everything that I just I wasn't happy um, but I, I went there every single day to, to fitness first when I was in the city and um, and I, I was speaking to um, the manager at the gym at the time and he was saying that like you know I should look at you know maybe something like doing personal training and I was unsure because like, I had a mortgage and um, I had like a, a car loan and things and I thought, you know, like coming from something I've got a secure income to then changing careers completely, starting up a new business and now I have to rely on my own income, you know, it's pretty daunting. So I kind of sat on it for a while, I wasn't sure to, if I wanted to do it, um, but I kept tossing up if I should do it, if I shouldn't. Uh, and then there was one day where I watched a video um, on YouTube. It was, what if money was no object? Um, and if you're, if you're in the crossroads, I guess, with choosing a career that you'd like to do and you're unsure, um, I highly, highly recommend you watch that video. Um, what if money was no object? And go and look it up on YouTube. It's probably like a two and a half, three minute video. But that video changed my entire life. And that was the decision. That was the point where I made the decision just to go, right, I'm gonna make the jump, I'm gonna do it. So um, I, I did my courses, I did my courses online because I had to still work full time. 
And, um, and then once I was qualified, um, the guys at Fitness First, because I was there every day, kind of knew who I was. And um, luckily for me, like I, I was able to jump on board straight away. <clears throat> um, I loved it. It was great. But it was really, really difficult because you've got to pay rent and you've now got to start making it. you essentially got to be a salesman. And I don't like being a salesman. I don't sell. But um, So it was really difficult. And there were times where um, like I just I couldn't financially keep going so um, it was pretty pretty it was pretty tough so it's, it's definitely not an, an easy industry to start off with and you guys probably are aware of it as well you know it's very hard Plenty to start up, out ups and downs yeah definitely is um, so anyway so but over time business started to grow and um, you know I started to be in a bit of a secure position um, and over time um, I had people contacting me who live in the Camden area wanting to do personal training, but I was always in the city. So I was thinking, how can I manage and do a little bit over down here and then still be able to train people in the city? So um, I still remember my very first client. I had a spare room. And it was just an empty spare bedroom, and we did like bodyweight exercises in there. <laughs> it was so funny. All I had was like a yoga mat. Um, and then from there, someone else wanted to uh, some, someone else wanted to do training. So I had to invest in something, and like I didn't have much money. So um, what I did was I emptied the garage, and I had like a little barbell. You know these really skinny barbells that are yeah, like this I use long, those at the camp, and then yeah. plastic <laughs> weights and like a five yeah, kilo weight was probably like this big. And that's all I had, and I, and I bought it like a little flat bench and a little portable um, squat rack, um, and that's all I had. So. Um, and I had two clients and I was just doing it through like this dirty old garage just from there. Um, but I guess with, with me, like I, I always want to perfect things as I carry on and, and make things bigger and better. So um, I started making that garage into like a fully functional gym and started like painting the, the floors and putting proper gym mats down and painting the walls and adding mirrors and then buying more equipment and I eventually put like down lights in and then air con and then I had like two racks and cable machine and started to you know start to grow that way um, and like my business at home was starting to go quite strong with the gym and I thought you know what it's probably be a better opportunity for me to keep progressing if I was to you know, leave my business in the city and try and continue building a business at home um, because like, the ultimate dream for me was to build like a, a, a gym so um, it was it, it took a while to try and put that transition into effect um, but we did it and Remember when I told you? You were, you were devastated when I said I was leaving. I was absolutely leaving. devastated when I was leaving the city. <laughs> um, so yeah, so anyway, so we, we finally, I, I made the move um, and I did everything from home um, and it was, it was really good, it was great. Um, I had a lot of clients and um, I guess that also had, uh, gave me the time to try and find a location um, for, for this um, and then eventually I did find a location and it was in Gregory Hills. Um, I put a deposit down. It's a place. It's actually a spot where I wanted for such a long time before it was even built. And uh, things happened, and it fell through, and I had to pull out my deposit. Um, I was pretty devastated. And then eventually, um, I found this place, and this place was a lot bigger. It was also brand new as well. Um, so it just kind of fit the criteria of, of what I was after. Um, and I had this vision in my head, especially I built a business plan for 12 months. So I knew exactly what I wanted. I knew exactly how it looked. I knew the type of people that were going to be here, the coaches. I knew the environment. So I, I'd already seen it before it was actually put down, you know. So, um, and, then, and then, yeah, so then we put the deposit down here and started getting to work and um, worked on social media and... You know, it's it opened, and I had all my clients that were at home started here and brought other people too. And um, I guess that started out with such a good community. Um, I guess the other thing too for me is that because I found it was really difficult, um, you know, starting out being a personal trainer financially, it was really hard. And in in that company, they don't really look after you uh, as a personal trainer, so. I wanted to do different, something different, especially for the guys that work here. Um, I really wanted to look after them, and I wanted to, them to build a successful business. So um, I put in procedures to be able to help build them up, so then they have successful businesses. Um, so that was like probably one of the biggest things for me, as well as building like such a good, supportive uh, community. So um, yeah, I put an ad out, and I did ask for people to. Um, to send me videos because I wanted to see how they were in real life as opposed to just a piece of paper. Um, 
and actually I, have, I probably had about 25 applications and Luke was the only one to send a video. Um, it was fucking terrible. It wasn't terrible. It was, it's funny now to look back on. Um, there was, it was two minutes to go before the cut-off time and he just got it in and even the video was cut off. It wasn't even yeah. finished completely. Yeah, because what happened, I, was just, I had no storage on my phone but I was deleting stuff but it wouldn't register that I was deleting stuff so every time I'd record I could just hear it go beep and then it would just cut off. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? And it just wouldn't, it wouldn't, I deleted so many apps and everything and it just, it just kept cutting off. So I, was like, I just sent the last one I was like, oh, she likes me, he likes me. If not, <laughs> if not I'm going on a holiday. <laughs> So, and then I guess when we had the first interview, I knew as soon as you walked in, like the type of personality that you had, and I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> um, I knew that you were going to fit the environment and what we wanted to build. Um, and we already had Lenka on board as well already, because I could see the passion. Um, she was traveling, once I moved from the city to home, you were traveling from Piedmont, and you were getting a bus to the central station. A train, train to, to, to Campbelltown Town Station and a bus to Spring Farm Spring to my Farm. house, just the train with it's me and then back that. again. So, yeah. like, Lenka had the passion. <laughs> she had a lot of passion. And you can't, you can't beat the passion. You can't. Um, so, and then you already had a lot of education, a lot of knowledge already behind you. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, I learned something. So, um, you know, I, I, had, I was definitely going to bring Lenka on board um, and, and help her as well. So. Um, and then Abby too, and I've been watching Abby. Um, Abby came on board, what was it, probably like 12 months after we opened. And, um, and I've, I've been watching Abby on social media and seeing all her stuff, um, and I was really impressed. And I, I've been following her for a long time, and I eventually contacted us, sent her a little DM. And contacted? I'm pretty sure it was begging. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny because I was following her too, and I was like, Check out that place. Why did you check out that place? We just we just fit like you know your your beliefs um, and the way that you train as well kind of fit exactly like how we were, um, and I knew like your personality too. I knew that you would be such a perfect fit, um, so I was really keen to, to get you on board. And then when we met, like we just clicked, and um, and then yeah, the rest is history. <laughs> so um, you know, and then like for me now is to you know, to continue building an awesome environment that we already have um, and keep building like an amazing gym and can continue like investing in more equipment um, and things that the members want so because we already had this amazing environment and the community and the, the people are here are so great so um, like my mentality is I always want to better things and make things you know improve things and just perfect things and, and you know I know people love it already but I want to make it you know, better and better. So, and then, like, I want to help continue helping like these guys too, building their businesses. Um, you know, so then, like, it is. It's such a happy place in here. You know, um, and I think it like stems from the start is like from like you guys, and then it brings it stems into like all the you know the members in here too. So it's just like a big family and a big home. So that's my story. <laughs> <laughs> so. Sorry. We need that big book. <laughs> you know, what's that um, TV show? You know? This is your life? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> this is your life. You know, they're empty books as well. Oh, are they? Yeah. No, oh. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> it is pictures. Oh. I was like, how would they have it? Like, surely they're good. Thanks, Ash. Thanks, Ash. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. big family, no. huh? <laughs> <laughs> If you guys have questions for our next episode, then make sure you shoot them to our Instagram page, Swap Club AU, uh -huh. next week. <laughs> oh yeah, throw on Lenka's head. And, uh, and then we will get back to you with the answers next episode. So I hope you enjoyed it and we'll speak to you next week. Peace. Okay.